In this lesson, I'll show you how to use molar volume to find volume at STP. The question reads, what is the volume in liters of 64.0 grams of oxygen gas at STP, standard temperature and pressure? To do this problem, we first have to find the molar mass of oxygen, because by finding the molar mass of oxygen and knowing the mass, we can actually find the amount of moles of oxygen. In addition, we'll need to know that one mole of an ideal gas will occupy a volume of 22.4 liters at STP. We'll be using this as a conversion ratio as well to find out the volume. And in case you're curious about what an ideal gas is, you may read this section right here, where it simply says that an ideal gas is one that is composed of randomly moving particles whose only interactions are perfect elastic collisions. Anyway, let's continue with this problem. To find the molar mass of oxygen, you need your periodic table, and you'll find on your periodic table that one atom of oxygen is 16.00 grams per one mole. Now given that we have two oxygen atoms, we multiply this number by two, where we end up with essentially 32.00 grams per one mole. Now if I take this ratio and flip it, where I have one mole at the top and 32.00 grams at the bottom, grams of oxygen that is, and I multiply this ratio, this fraction, by 64.0 grams, the gram unit will cancel out giving us the amount of oxygen in moles. Now if I multiply 64.0 by 1 over 32.00, I'll end up with 2 moles. And of course this should be 3 significant figures, so 2.00. At this point I can take 2 moles of oxygen and multiply it to this conversion ratio where we have 22.4 liters per every one mole of gas. So 22.4 liters per one mole, and this will cancel out with that. Two times 22.4 is equal to 44.8 liters of oxygen. And this answer is correct to the correct number of significant figures. Question two reads, how many grams of N2 are in 5.6 liters of N2 at STP? So this time we have been given the volume of 5.6, and I'll multiply this by the flipped version of this conversion ratio, where I have one mole at the top and 22.4 liters at the bottom, because by orienting it like this, as opposed to like this, the liter unit will cancel out, giving us the amount of moles. We need the amount of moles along with the molar mass to find the mass in grams. So let's do one step at a time. We'll take 5.6 and divide that by 22.4. That gives us a quarter, or essentially 0 0.25. Let me write that down, 0 0.25 moles. And that's correct to two significant figures. Now the molar mass of nitrogen is 14.01 and you can verify that on your periodic table. Grams per one mole. Now of course we'll be doubling this because there are two atoms in N2, so it's actually two times whatever this is. And we multiply it to 0 0.25, look what happens. So two times 14.01, that's the molar mass of N2, there it is in decimal, times 0 0.25, the mole unit will cancel out leaving us with this many grams, 7.005. And we need this to two significant figures, so 7.0 grams is good enough. And there you have it. That is how to use molar volume to find volume at STP.